Hey guys, Craig with Travel and Tarn here. We just finished our trip on the train from Munich to Berlin. So why don't you join me on this adventure and you'll see what I think. This is the main platform area for the Hauptbahnhof in Munich. These ice trains are servicing many locations throughout Europe and also other places in Germany. The underground, the S-Bahn and the U-Bahn trains are directly underneath this platform, both to the left and the right side. information about the numbering system for ice trains. The giant number one is the class, so that's first class, second class is number two. The number 12 beside the car is the actual carriage number, carriage number 12, and the seat 71 through 133, those are the seats you would access from this end of the carriage. The seat was very comfortable for the four hours we were on the train. I would be delighted to have another go on that. It uh, has a sort of pseudo recline to it, so there's a lever underneath when you pull it. It brings the seat cushion forwards, so it's not really a re real recline, but it is still very comfortable. It has a reading light on the left side. As you can see, pretty fancy mood lighting on the carriage. Very nice place to be, very quiet, very, uh, very clean, smelled good. The seating arrangements on the one side there are two sets of seats, uh, sometimes facing in one direction and other times four together with a table. And on the other side it's just two seats facing each other with a small table in between, which is what we had. We were actually in one of the quiet carriages, which means you can't talk loudly, you're not supposed to be on your cell phone talking on the phone. And it really was. There were some people working, um, we were just sitting, enjoying the scenery. There's a small food carriage where you could get various hot and cold foods along with coffee and tea and juice, uh, Coca-Cola etc. Uh, I just caught this guy as he was getting ready for the day so there's nothing in the, uh, in the 
the cool box there. Uh, also you can see now the actual dining car area where you can sit uh, if you want to get served and you can have a proper meal or you can actually get served. There was a lady passing through uh, the carriages all the time for us and if we wanted we could just flag her down and ask for whatever it was we were looking for and she would bring it to us. As you can see we're flying along at a pretty good rate, 249 kilometers an hour or 154 miles an hour and the whole time we were doing that it was super quiet and super smooth. This is us changing direction at Leipzig and heading into Berlin right now. Amazing how the landscape changes, definitely as you get closer to Berlin you see far more wind farms. Uh, all over the landscape, but I must admit it doesn't detract from the, uh, the prettiness of the scenery. The day wasn't great, uh, a little overcast, the sun came out here and there, but if it had been a really nice sunny day, I think it would have been an even nicer trip. As far as I was concerned, this was a great use of four hours. Uh, it gave us a chance to see some, some cities as we went through them. It gave us a chance to see the countryside that we hadn't seen before. And it was far less stressful than uh, getting up really early in the morning, getting to the airport an hour and a bit early, getting on the plane, then having to do the whole thing in reverse all the way into the hotel in Berlin. So I was very, very pleased at how well it ended up. But we were in the first class cabin. It was very comfortable, it was very quiet, uh, the lady came through a few times and asked us if we wanted drinks uh, and at the end of the trip she gave us a little mint to take away which was delicious. I would highly recommend uh, for anybody to try this. So I got this at 180 days out, I got the tickets, so I got it as cheap as possible. I believe they were about 30 bucks each. Uh, roughly thirty dollars um, US dollars each, so it was well worth it for the uh, for the trip. Uh, tons of space in the overheads to put bags. It was just a great experience, and I would I would definitely do it again, whether it was throughout Germany or somewhere else in Europe. I also got a small picture here of uh, the Berlin Hauptbahnhof, the main train station. It's not easy to see, but I thought I thought I would uh, throw it in anyway. This thing's actually enormous. Uh, we came in on the bottom level, right down in the basement. Uh, I think there are five floors uh, to the Berlin train station, and we were <laughs> we were leaving from the very top floor, so we had to work our way up to the top to get the train out to where we were going in the city. The train station was very nice, very clean, um, very bright, uh, very different than the Munich train station. But uh, it, was, it was perfectly serviceable, and like I said, I would happily do it again. Alright, so that's all I've got for you today, guys. Thanks very much for watching. Uh, please like and subscribe, and we will see you again real soon.